This is a very basic tutorial on Lighttable, just in case you forgot a few things. These are the topics we'll be covering today. The Workspace pane is accessible through the View tab. Most of the things shown today can be accessed through there, so we'll be coming back to this. To add a file to the Workspace pane, all you have to do is right click the space within the pane and select the relevant option. Once a file or folder is added to the workspace, it kind of just works as expected. You know, right click to add, delete, rename files and folders. If using Lighttable as an editor for a large project, one of the first things you would want to do is set up your working directory within the workspace pane. All this pane does is represent files and folders that already exist in your file system. However, once a folder is added to the workspace pane, you can create and delete files and folders from there. This is useful because you can access and manage all the files in your project from Lighttable itself. The command pane is accessible through the view tab, but its shortcut is control space. This is basically a searchable list of all the things Lighttable is capable of. After opening the command pane with either control space or the view tab, start typing the word syntax and you should see the editor set current editor syntax option. If you click this, you will see the list of supported syntax that Lighttable provides highlighting for. I don't know what cipher is, but it sounds dope. Anyway, for an example, I'll be using closure. Lighttable is awesome because it's really simple to evaluate code. All you have to do is press Ctrl Enter to evaluate a line of code and press Ctrl Shift Enter to evaluate the whole file. The first time you do this, you might have to wait a while for Lighttable to set up all the connections and dependencies. The connections bar is accessible through the view tab or by selecting the connect toggle connect bar option from the command pane. Once selected, you will see the connection bar. This shows you all the current REPLs, browsers and things Lighttable is currently connected to. As you can see, we are currently connected to a closure REPL and this is how we can evaluate closure code. If you have a project with dependencies, once they have been added, you can select disconnect on the connection and reevaluate your code. When Lighttable connects to the REPL again, it will include all your dependencies. To see all possible connections, you can click Add Connection at the top of the bar. The console is accessible through both the View tab and the Command pane by selecting Console Toggle Console. This just acts like a standard console really. You could print here and you could also view errors. When typing and you see a box with suggestions, to select one, just press tab. It's just an FYI. Okay, that's enough light table basics for today, future me. You go get them.